what's good beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am kenya right now and i today i'm announcing my 30 days of vlogging commitment i swear for every single day of april i will be presenting you with a new video each and every single day so this should be a challenge for me because uh, for those of you who are my subscribers, you know how janky and how inconsistent and how shady I can be with posting videos. But I'm going to do this challenge for myself to, um, you know, rev up those create creative skills and also just be in contact with you all more with my people. Okay. So if you are watching and you are not a subscriber, what's the hold up? Click that subscribe button. Okay, go for it. You can do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So yesterday, I published a video that featured three professionals um, who decided to do the remote year program and their what their experiences were. So if you haven't checked that out, please be sure to check it out. It's a really great interview and it really gives you a great glimpse into what the remote year program is. If you want to know what it is, check out the video. So today is actually going to be just a regular vlog, what they call it. So it's not really a topic. It's just me talking to you face to face, giving you an update on what's been going on with me. So yesterday I had a really awesome day. I started it with an, what was it? It was a women's entrepreneurship brunch at a location that's not really far from me so it was in walking distance okay story time real quick let me just tell you what happened on the way to the brunch i knew by the address that it was really close to me but these addresses here can be really funky sometimes and it was also on a diagonal so it was like the diagonal was here but then the street that was perpendicular to the diagonal was like over here and i'm like they're not crossing. So how do I use my imagination? How do I get there? And I have this thing about getting lost. I know some travelers love getting lost. I think that's a part of the journey. I ain't one of those travelers, okay? So I was like, okay, I don't want to spend 15, 20 minutes looking for a place that's like literally two minutes away. So I just hitched a cab really quickly and the cab driver could see that it was close as well he was speaking in spanish but i could understand that he knew that it was like really close and i had a flashback i had a flashback of when my first time in korea when i was trying to go to the store called daiso which is kind of like a family dollar store or something like that but they have like everything for really like five dollars or under mm, i don't think many things are like ten dollars most things are like five dollars or under and my teacher had just taken me out um, the day before and showed me around like, you know, this is where you can buy groceries, this is where you catch the bus, things like that. But but she didn't take me to the Daiso. So this is a funny thing. I walked to the corner where the main street is and I um, try to hail a taxi. And I finally hail a taxi and I get in the taxi and I said, um, now, this is the other thing. I can't even remember my Korean. I'm losing what little Korean I know. Um, but I think, you know, I asked for him to take me to the Daiso. And then he got really confused. And he was like, Daiso. And he kept pointing backward, like, Daiso, Daiso. And, you know, me, I'm Brent, fresh, fresh off the plane. <laughs> fresh off the plane in Korea. I have no idea what this guy's trying to say. So I'm just like, mm. And... I just say yeah and so he turns around and goes back and his drives and he pulls up to the very same corner that i hailed him from and points and says daiso daiso and i look and it's it's this huge it's this huge daiso store it's a red and white dice daiso store right there on the corner across from where i held the cab and then he's like you know pay your fare pay your fare and i'm just like Dude, you're gonna make me pay? Like you took me around that you took me in a circle. You took me in a circle. I'm new, I'm the foreigner. But no, those those taxi cab drivers, they don't play. So remember that. So fast forward to present day. I get in the cab and I tell him where I wanna go. And you know, it takes us like literally two minutes to get there. 
because it was really seriously like just around the corner and we pull up and he's like Aki and I said yeah it's here and so I'm getting my money I see what the meter says so I'm getting my money to pay him and I'm paying him like the exact amount and it was like 3,000 and 3,400 pesos and he was like no he took he took the money but when I tried to give him the change he was like no he was like minimum is five 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 mil pesos which is how they say five thousand here and or cinco mil pesos is what he said and i was like what and then he takes out this little paper in his little uh where you let down the shade thing and shows me something that says five thousand now of course i don't know what the rest of it says because i don't read spanish and so we're sitting there arguing going back and forth and i'm like por favor please like un cuadre it was one block. It was one block. And he's like, no, minimum, minimum, minimum. And in my mind, I'm like, I could just get up out this car and leave right now because, I mean, anyway, that's what I did. I said, no, sorry, sir. You know, you're either going to take the money that I gave you because I'm not paying, I'm not paying 5000 And so when I got back, my housemate was like, yeah, actually, she's Colombian. She was like, yeah, actually, that is true. She was like, I know sometimes taxi drivers will try to cheat you but that actually is true today my thing is this if that's true you need to have a sign up in in your cab because that's what other taxi cab drivers do they have it either at the back of the seat or on the window you can't have it in a little pamphlet in your little side rear view mirror thing to show me after i arrive i need to know what's up before before i decide to take this Cab drive. So anyway, that was a little drama there, but I had a blast yesterday meeting these women. Whenever I go, decide to go to an event, especially here while, while I've been abroad, like sometimes events can be so hit or miss. But yesterday, the vibes were just on 100. They were just so good. It was it was a good mix of, of people in terms of nationality, in, ter in terms of ethnicity, in terms of age. Um, and we were just all having a really good time. And these women, honestly, were some of the most interesting women or entrepreneurs in general that I've met in a really long time, all in one space. So uh, I did a lot of networking. I have my cards. Go ahead, check out the website and join the journey. We're on this journey together, people. We're all squirrels in this life trying to get a nut, trying to make things work for ourselves. So, hey, join the journey. Let me inspire you. But yeah, it was just it was just really good energy, great vibes, good networking. And some of the women I'll be featuring in my interview series that I'm going to start because I really enjoy interviewing people. Um, I guess it's from my roots of uh you know writing for magazines and being a news reporter but yeah i um i definitely want to start exposing some of the amazing people that i meet along my journey to you to share with you to see you know what everyday people are doing with their lives whatever you want to do is possible whatever you want to do is possible so we're here to inspire one another that is what i'm hoping this community can be so my youtube community my facebook community my blog community that's what i'm aiming towards as i'm doing the work my work or working my path so yeah and then when i got back home i stopped off by uh this vegetarian restaurant that's really amazing they, the food and meals and recipes that they put together are really, really delicious. So I stopped off there because I knew I probably wouldn't feel like cooking once I got home after that. Because we were there from like 10.30 to 2 o'clock. So that's that's how dope it was. I mean, it was a really good event. And basically, they had to kick us out. Like, okay, we're about to wrap this up. Came home and my two housemates were uh, chilling on the balcony talking about life and men and things women talk about so I joined them and then we ended up hanging out there until the evening and then after that I headed over to a language exchange uh, in Poblado so it was a really good day yesterday and you know just going forward my my intentions with my writing so all of you know or maybe you don't but I teach English online. I've been doing that since I've been here in Colombia, but I actually teach to children in China. And so this is new for me, but I'm really enjoying it because it allows me to 
make the amount of money that I need to live in Colombia while having a lot of free time, which gives me time to work on my own personal business, which is my freelance writing. So yeah, definitely check out the blog, alongcamearwriter.com. And um, yeah, just get back into writing. Since I've been teaching English abroad, I haven't really been pitching uh, stories like I should and so that's what I'm working on now. So look forward to seeing whew, 30 days of vlogging from Kenya right now. Join the journey. Deuces.